We're going to start with the compositions. I just take any light color. I prefer just use the, the water color. Just do a little bit lighter. That'll be fine. Give a little bit more thinking before you start it. Okay, this is good. And the mid over here, there will be the horseback. Okay, right there. So this time I'm gonna just wet the, the background. Okay, wet the background over here. Here you go, a little bit. So the horse is gonna be darker than the background. So I'm gonna make the background over here is even a little bit lighter. So the horse will stand out a little bit more. Okay, like that. So on this side, it's gonna be a little bit darker. So I'm not gonna paint too much about um, the, the water into it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna, first is gonna get a little big blue color in the background. That's the sky. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna come down over here, get the yellow. Yeah, some yellow color over here. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Here you go, like that. And coming a little bit over here. And now I'm gonna change it a little bit more red. So see a little bit warmer color here. And we only use the three primary colors. So it's very, very simple. Yeah. Like that. I keep a little light shape on the neck. That's good. So we can have the shadow side of her shirt to be a little bit darker. Okay, like that. And over here, it's a little bit. Okay, this is good. Now we're gonna start changing a little bit more green color. So let's get the uh, blue, mix that with the yellow, and that's it. Okay, here we go. Now, coming over here in the back. So this is need to be darker so that it's making the horse to, to stand out a little bit more. All right, that's good. That's good. Like that, we can have this. And I'll have a little bit more gray too. So get a little bit more orange color. That's good. Like that. And we're gonna have that a little bit darker color uh, in a moment. So I'm gonna also have this, uh, this seat over here a little bit lighter, so leave the light. And have a little bit green color in the front over here, this is good. Also have a little bit green color over here. And because it's a background, it's okay to make it a little bit softer, like that. So keep that interesting. Now I'm gonna use the calligraphy brush. Now first I'm gonna lift up this. I don't want the color keep coming down, accumulate too much over here. Okay, now I'm gonna have that some lighter uh, yellow green color first. Okay, so get a little bit lighter color right over here. So I'm gonna a little bit off from her head. Like that too, have a little bit over here. Okay, just use the, the corner of this brush, have a little bit dry brush, like that. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna start, maybe a little bit over here too. Now I'm gonna start having the uh, calligraphy brush, take the red color and the blue, the pleasant blue. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna have this really dark. So all you need to think about is really dark, and that's it. Okay, now you can see that. So it's the, the mark on top of the head. I can cover it. Okay, that's good. Like that. So only thinking about the shape. Here we go. Now this needs to be darker so that I would want the, the, the person's uh, stand out a lot more. Okay, that's good. Coming down over right here. That's the her back. That's good. Yeah, right. And if you want to have someone stand out a little bit more, 
you need to have a stronger, darker color uh, next to the person, okay, or the object. Okay, here you go. Now I have the nose over here, that's good. And we're going to take a look and coming in a little bit. Look at that again. That's good, like that. And and then I think the front of their face can come in a little bit, tiny, tiny. Okay, now the nose coming back a little bit. That's good. Just very little. Coming back a little bit. And that's it. And we're going to change the color. Okay, I have this color coming over here too. Now I'm going to get a little bit more green. So get a little bit blue. And just a little bit more the blue color. I'm going to have also keep it some of the gap. Seeing in the back over here. That's good. Like that. That's just good. All right. That's good. Very nice. And coming on to this side, get a little bit yellow with the blue color. So here you go, the shadow side over here. Okay, a little bit more shadow side. That's good. I'm gonna come back over here, give it a little bit more. Now it get a little bit drier, so the shape would stay better. Just pay attention to where is the, the light shape you want to protect. Now coming down over here, it's very good. Get the yellow and the red. It's a little bit more brownish color. Now I'm going to come in from, take a look at right over here. Right under the chin. That's good. Right there. That's good. Now the shirt. Now, has a nice transition. We don't want that to jump out too much. So that's good. That's good. Now I'm going to take away the excess wet on the back. That's good. Like that. That's good. All right. Now I'm going to come to the front over here. And I'm going to get just, just the yellow and the blue color. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to use the side of the brush. So I'm going to have that feel a little bit thinner. Okay, that's good. Okay, too much red. So I'm going to just get the yellow. Okay, here you go, like this. That's a little bit. A little bit more blue. Okay, that's good. Okay, here you go. Now I'll come, give a little gap, so make it feel like a little bit translucent. That's good. All right, next. That's good. Lots of time we're painting the feeling, and the feeling will come with the shape. That's good. Now the back is supporting really well. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna have a little bit shape, a little bit line like that. I give a little bit texture. So I'm gonna have the bottom over here and yeah, make it a little bit softer. Now I'm gonna turn it back to the large brush. And yeah, here you go. That's just good. Now I'm gonna have it continue from the bottom over here, coming down to the ground. Okay, here you go. I also have a little bit bluish color, a little bit. Uh, a little bit warm color at the bottom over here. Connect that. That's just good. Like that. So keep in mind the bottom also shadow, right? We don't want that to be so uh, white. Okay. And also have a little bit more like a dust and some some little bit soft color uh, behind the horse. This is good. That's good. And I'm gonna have that a little bit gray color. Okay, 
here you go now a little bit more like a brownish color uh, not really that warm so I'm gonna look at here right here for this I can also use this sideways just remove some of the color yeah, and that's good and with the darker color and make the the white on the horse is gonna stand out I'm also gonna paint it into the shadow side of the neck okay here you go like this that's good that on here this is good I like that a little bit texture over there I'm gonna keep it like that and get a little bit yellow and here you go have that coming a little bit coming over here too. extend that yes that's good all right now I'm gonna remove some of the excess wet at the bottom Okay, this is very well, and the background is almost pretty good already. Now I'm gonna add just add a little bit texture on the side, so just use just a little bit gray green color. That's just good, and don't really need that much wet. So I'm gonna open up the brush. I'm gonna just have it a little bit over here, just a little bit the edges. Like that. Okay, maybe a little bit darker here too. Okay, a little bit darker right there. That's good. Okay, a little bit darker over there. This is good enough. Okay, that's good. A little bit. Maybe a little bit darker right here. Okay, here you go. That's good. That's still wet into wet. Very nice. And the front over here. Just keep it a little bit. And maybe give it a little bit detail. And it's getting dry really quick. And the watercolor painting usually dries like in a matter of a few minutes. Okay, that's just good. All right, and we can ignore some of the light over here. If you want, you can take it back, but we're gonna focus more on the, the light, right on the person, okay. All right, now we can do something. There's the whole, most of the areas is still, still wet. So we're gonna pick some area that we want to do at this point, maybe in the center of the horse. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna take a look at, we already have almost like all the color that we need. So right here, we just look at, and here, we're gonna have a little bit more blue, right over here, that's just good. And take a look, and okay, that's good. And then the, the hand will be there, so I'm gonna put in some color under the hand over here, and to support that, this is gonna top over there. And all right, I'm gonna have just a little bit. And this color update drive is gonna turn a little bit lighter, so it's no worry too much. So I'm gonna take a look at also their light color on the shoe. Okay, that's good. And onto this side. Yeah, and I'm gonna also so put a little dark color under this arm, right here, and then this depends. Okay, coming down over here. So, so everything you're seeing is just shapes, shapes, shapes. Okay, so it's the idea of uh, keep the distance between uh, the objects so that you'll be more uh, in control of what you're gonna do with the, with your painting. Okay, here you go, like that. That's good. 
right and we're gonna have a little bit more brown color on the horse neck and a little bit more red okay here we go that a little bit brown color take a look right from here okay that's good okay look at what is this lighter okay we don't need to worry about the lighter uh, we only need to right here this is good and the front over here we I'm gonna leave the lighter space okay here you go like that I'm gonna have a little bit change the color and it maybe we're gonna put the blue color or maybe leave the color for the blue or maybe you're gonna change the blue to other colors right if you don't want to now I'm gonna take a look at the front over here I'm gonna leave around that blue color but no worry that's good the front of the horse face like that and need to be a little bit lighter somewhere that have a little bit lighter lighter of this color just take the water to bleed it up okay that's good and then take a look at the face here you go the whole face the whole area it look a bit um, just similar color like a brown color right so don't worry too much just put the whole shape first I'm gonna we're gonna put the the little bit details after okay that's good and the front over here this is good and then the top over there is almost dry so to, to worry about that this is good okay now we are we're going to also be careful about and this is already almost dry right so you have a little bit more blue than color and all this color from in the gray in the shadow in the shade it always have a little bit more uh, blue color so I'm gonna have that a little bit blue right here okay this is good now coming a little bit closer a little bit darker here you go like that okay and there's a couple of light shape on this bell all right now we're going to continue working on the shape of the horse that's good like that okay now now the background getting uh, more and more drive. Now what we're going to do at this point, we're also going to have a little bit back to the background over here. I'm going to just use the brush and have a little bit more shape, a little bit texture. Okay, something a little bit simple texture. And we can also have the little bit drive texture like that and give it a little bit more that's good like that so keep it not totally flat because we want to bring it back a little bit closer to us okay and over here too that's good have something come back okay that is good enough okay wonderful and then we'll let's come back to continue with the horse so I'm gonna paint it the horse belly before we going back to the leg so that here you go that's a little bit more blue gray color okay and here you go the bottom over here get around also this is coming around this also a little bit darker shape and come a little bit later so this is good come the belly and the same thing over here and the top over there have a little bit light but it's always have a little bit more bluish color so I'm gonna have that a little bit more bluish right here that's good 
like that. And now I'm gonna have the shadow side of the back. Now here you go, a little bit more gray, and then also a little bit more brownish color. Okay, that's good. So keep a little white into it. Very nice. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more brown color in the back over here. Okay, here you go, like that. That's good. Nice, nice color change. And just a little bit coming up, a little bit more. That's good. And then a little bit more bluish. Come on the leg over here. Here you go. That's just the back leg. Just think about that sh whole shape. That's good. Now I'm gonna get a little bit darker. Coming down over here. Okay, here you go. As look, observe it, and then paint the shape. Okay, that's good. And the bottom over here get a little bit lighter. So we're gonna change that. Okay, very, very light. So just use the water, extend the color. Like that. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna come to the other side. Yeah, come to the front and then go back over there. It will be ready for us to paint a little bit darker color. So here you go. I'm gonna come back over here to keep it here a little bit forward. That's good. Right here. That's good. And here you go. And you can repaint it, make the new judgment. Okay. Uh, so the lighter uh, version of that shape uh, can be just uh, not really that visible. So I'm going to get a little bit more brownish color. That's good. That's good. And then I'm going to have that a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. So here you go, just the water, lead the color like this. That's just good. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna keep going with the color over here for the other side of the front leg. Okay, like this. That's good. And so this leg will be here, so it'll keep it enough. Okay, I think they may be moving a little bit more back over here. Here you go, like that. And coming in the front over here, and then I'm gonna start, also only use the water to soften it. Okay, so a little by little, and you can see the whole picture come together. Okay, start with a good plan. I'm gonna take that a little bit darker color right under here, and keep it a little bit soft, that's okay. Cannot really see clearly, so that will be fine. Like that, and make this a little bit darker. So the here can be a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit more red because it's a little bit warmer. So this is still wet. That's good. Okay. Uh, we have some animal and enemy book in the Discord. Uh, take a look at the uh, channel. It's called Animal Arc. You can come to download it. Okay, take a look at the front over here, the top over here. And the bottom of the neck, a little bit darker. That's good. Like that. Very nice. Now I'm going to come to the other side. I'm going to have this a little bit darker. Take a look at here. And take a look at the space between the front and the back. You need to be right here. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to have this a little bit higher. That's perfect. Okay. Now, and that this lick is still a little bit wet. Let's just get right here. Coming, that's good. And then take a look and start moving forward. So you can compare with other legs and make sure it's the right proportion. You can write placement. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go, like this. And 
and then I'm gonna have it very very light, just water, and lead the color down over here. So make it feel like it's very dust. Okay, that's good. Have it here too. All right, that's good. Now we're gonna come a little bit darker color. I'm gonna gradually coming to close up the painting. Okay, here you go the the pad over here. There you go like that, and then take a look at the top over here. Okay, put a little line, and that's good. And uh, sit, that's very good. And we're getting there. This is good. Now the top over here is still a little wet, so we're not gonna touch it yet. So let that dry. I'm gonna come back to paint uh, the person. And let's take a look at the tail. Okay, the tail over here is ready. So take a look at right here. And that's good. And we're gonna have a little bit more brown color first. Okay, have a little bit red with a little yellow. And we already have enough the, the blue. So that's good right here. Because the tail is mostly is uh, darker, right? Darker than the background. This is very easy. We don't have to leave it. I'm gonna get a little bit darker color, a little bit more gray. Okay, that's good. When you come over here, now I'm gonna think about some dry brush, okay? All right, I'm just going to use just a clean brush. I'm gonna just use it coming down like this. Here you go. You just use the loose here. Like that. Pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, let me see if I can zoom in. We're gonna add some, a little bit texture, also make it a little bit darker. And just the dry, te dry brush, and create a little texture on the horse. Like this, and a little bit over here, in the back of the shoe, and the bottom over here. Now here you go. And the tail is already pretty good. I'm gonna have a couple more here like this. We can come back to actually have a little bit more darker shadow of the tail. This is good. Okay. Now come back over here in the back. Now I'm gonna continue. Add a little bit soft shadow. I'll go here. Is that a little bit shadow? Now we we'll talk about the shadow of the back over here, and we we'll also keep that. Um, the bottom over here a little bit darker so I'm gonna have also a little bit orange color and sometimes you all you need is the orange color right so I'm gonna have a little bit orange color here that little bit warmer that's good and the back over here that's fine and the, the lake over here I'm gonna have a little bit shadow just use the corner of this brush that's good okay this is pretty good I'm gonna have that and take a look at the neck over here. And there is a, some muscle. So that's good. I'm gonna have that softer right here. And this is pretty good. I'm gonna take a look at uh, the, f and the top is getting better. So maybe we can start working into uh, the foundation colors up there of the girls. Um, so first I'm gonna have a little bit orange color for the face, okay? Now, just light up a little bit over here. Clean this little bit space. And take the yellow color. Take it a little bit red. Okay, this is good. Maybe too much. Just take a little color. So first we're gonna put it on her face. Okay, that's good. About right in the transition area. And here you go. On the other side, it's going to look uh, also on that here. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. And on the shadow side, and 
we are going to have this coming to the neck over here and the shadow side have a little bit darker and you can see it's just darker and with this color it also a little bit more bluish that this is good now I want to take a look at on this side the shadow side and we're gonna work into the details okay here you go we're gonna look into you may not see that color but it's actually it's much darker gonna have to even like that here you go we'll come back in a, in a few minutes and then we're gonna continue working into the detail and the front uh, the hair over here yeah, it's a little bit darker and we can actually if you need more or make it expand it a little bit more we can actually move the color a little bit higher so here you go this is good like that so we come back this is only the foundation let's get a little bit blue color on her shirt okay here you go from the shoulder over here look at the shadow side shadow side over here the arm here you go that's very good a little bit blue color over here and that's good now take a little blue color in the back over here okay that's very good like that okay in the back over there so it's not really that dark so use the just the water to soften it moving it up so we're going to add this, some small mark in the moment okay very good and the arm is going to be uh, darker than the background so not to worry about that okay that's good and that's good great wonderful all right now Let's come back to uh, the lower part over here and I'm going to take a look at here a little bit darker and this is the front over here. So, so all you need to think about is the light and shadow and to think about shapes. Okay here you go a little bit darker here. Okay that's good. Have a little bit darker color over here for the pen. That's good. And now I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Okay. I'm not using black, so the color that you're seeing dark is only the mixture of the red and the blue color. Okay, here we go. And the front over here. And this good coming all the way down over here like that and I'm gonna have that little shape on the shoe now showing the other side of the shoe okay here we go that's good like that okay and here you go and this can be a little bit darker but we're gonna see little by little gonna get into it that's good. We're going to put some strap. It's okay, that's good. And all right, now I'm going to come back to uh, getting there. I'm going to have a little bit dry brush attached to give a little bit shape over here. You can do, don't do have to have to do that one by one it's just that's good all right now I want to take a look at the face of the horse and we can make a little bit brown color here you go and take a look at this is the ear we're gonna have the shadows of the ear a little bit darker still leave a little bit light shape on the side and this side now this is good the background already drives because we need a clean a little bit clean edge should make the horse pop a little bit more 
Okay, that's good. Like that. And some hair. And take a look at the eye right here. That's good. And even a little bit darker on this side. So take a look at the shadow side of the horse. Can be a little bit darker. And that's good. Take a look at the nose. And now we are ready to add the shape of the nose. Okay, here you go. That's good. Now the horse looks a lot more convincing. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at that middle over here. And also a little big shape. That's good. And the side of the face. And over here a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna start working in this strap. Okay, that's good. And then take a look at right in here. And of course I'm gonna apply a little bit blue color uh, for the strap on the face. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put this right down over here. That's good. And look at the color coming over here. And also the face over here. So far I have not used the white paint, but you, if you want to, you can. And most likely we may really need it. So here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit of color coming over here. This is good. Now it's getting very, very good. Um, it's a good time now. I'm gonna put a little bit darker color uh, to suggest the arm, okay? Right here, you can see that arm, this arm right in here. Just a little bit darker color in the shadow. Right there. That's good. Okay. And on this side, can have a little bit more orange color. And take a look at right in here. That's the arm. That's good. Like that. And so this, this is the hand. Okay, that's good. That's the thumb. That's already good. I think that the hand is there. It's a little bit softer on this side. And this is good. You see how simple. Uh, it's just a suggestion. So I'm going to soften that a little bit over here. Have that. A little bit blue color coming down over here. That's good. A little bit softer because they're holding in the shadow. And now I'm going to finish the strap before I go back to painting her face. So let's take a look. Right here. And from here up. Okay, here you go. A little bit here and coming forward. That's good, coming into here. That's is good enough. So, I'm gonna take a look at, there is a line from here all the way to her hands. Okay, here you go, like that. One, and we're gonna have another one over here. Okay, coming down over here. That pretty good, and have a little hair coming down, and then take a look, and then take a look at. And I can actually make this a little bit darker, so make the hand, the shape, suggestions of the hand a little bit more clear. That's getting there. This is pretty good. And I'm gonna have just a little bit darker color for the top of the the main. Okay, right here. Like that, that's good. A little bit more clear. That's also showing that 
um, that hair coming down over here. That's good. I'm going to have just a little bit darker at the tip of the ear. That's good. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to see the top over here a little bit darker. And this is pretty nice. And what I want to do, I'm going to have a little bit color on the outside. Sometimes like you can't avoid it. That are you can't make everything so accurate. So only here, there's a little bit cover a little bit. That fine. That's making the horse, the back of the horse, a lot more look more the enemy, an enemy much better. A little bit over here coming down a little bit. Okay, that's a skit. Now we come to uh, looking at her face. Okay, let's take a look. All we need to do is just set some really simple, simple color to suggest. The first thing, we're going to have that a little bit darker for the hair. So it's pretty warm and the light side. Okay, here we go. Like that. And right here. That's a little shape. To be a little bit darker over the ear that's good right there okay that's good and we need a little bit of orange color okay and i'm gonna have a little bit orange so see a little bit toning okay here you go that's good orange a little bit orange color over here and here you go. Now stay here. Nice. And then take a look at the top over here. And a little bit orange color. That's good. Like that. Nice. So very important to make sure the sphere shape idea is there. Okay, here we go. That's good. Now, now I'm going to take a look at the most important. It is the cheek. They're actually there. Uh, changing point between the line and the shadow. Let's take a look. Right in here. Okay, that's good. Okay, coming down over here. Uh, changing the light side and the shadow side. Maybe just a little slightly, a little bit darker. Like this. Pretty good. And on the light side, I'm going to soften a little bit. Like this. Softening. Here you go. Give a little time, and you can see this has become, it's not so dividing so clearly. That's what's good. And I'm going to have that a little bit orange color back in here too. Have on this side. And that will be the ear. I'll come back to do that in a moment. Now this is good. And I'm going to give a little bit soft suggestion shape. For the nose and the eye, the mouth. Okay, here you go. Uh, keep in mind that everything is, is in the shadow. It's not really standing out that much. So I'm going to take a look. And the nose right in here. Okay, that's good. Right there. Okay, maybe a little bit more clear. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's the nose. And I'm going to take a suggestions of the mouth. I'm going to have a little bit red. That's good. Take a look at That's good. Like that. Very nice. 
I don't think we need to do too much. And for the nose, I think it's a little bit too wide. So I'm gonna just let go all the paint in my brush and just go into move a little bit away. Just use the tip of the brush. This is good. Like that. Now I'm gonna take a look at the eye. A little bit darker. The eye is right here. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to have the hair coming down more connected. There you go, there's the hair coming down over here. Connect to the eye. There you go. Now this is good. It's the hair now getting drive. Okay. And also the now take a look at the ear. Now the ear is all ready. So it's a little suggestions. Okay. Always start from big from the outside. It just get a little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. That's the ear, right there. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. And a little bit darker for the chin. There you go, right here. Yes. That's good. Like that. Okay, let's give a little shadow on it, on the chin. That's good. I also have the mouth. It's a little bit clear. That's good. A little bit darker. And think about the tip of the nose. That's good. Very nice. I'm gonna have a little bit darker for the hair over here. Coming down. That's good. Like that. And this is good. Now I'm going to uh, give some suggestions for the uh, for the shirt. There you go. Right here. Here, that's good. Like that. Have a little of the line. Here you go. Right here. Like that. That's good. Okay. And some thin line. That's good. And here you go. So a little fold. It's very nice. Okay, a little bit suggestions over here, a little bit more clear how they fold. So if you can use a bigger paper, you can even make it easier to indicate. I'm going to have a little bit more blue. I'm going to have the shadow side of the shirt just a little bit darker, a little bit more clear right here. Okay, here you go, like that. Okay, here you go. Yeah, the front, also see. Sometimes just a little bit suggestion. It make a huge, huge difference. Now I'm gonna take a look at her. 
Now I'm going to come, bit, come back in here. And here you go. A little bit more. Like that. And the leg can come up a little bit. A little bit. Okay, that's good. Over here, a little bit darker. There you go. That's a little bit more blue. A little bit more blue right here. Okay, I can also have a little blue color over here too. For the whole seat over here. Okay. Um, then I'm going to give some suggestions for the shoe. Okay, the bottom. Now I can see a little bit more clear how how long the shoe should be right here. Yes. Yeah, and there is just the line strap coming down from the top over here. And then I have this little big shape coming down over here. And here you go, like that. Okay, that's good. Um, now we're going to take a look at uh, the top of her head. Can actually come in a little bit from the outside. So this is good. Now I'm going to have this just come in just a little bit right here. Coming in a little bit. That's good. Perfect. And now I'm going to take a look at the whole painting. And now let's take a look at the background. I'm going to give a little bit more. Just slightly half a little bit more. And I may not want that so clear, but if you want to have a little bit texture into that. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so I have soft and have some clear. That's good. Depends on how, how much you want to feel it is distance between that with this. So I'm going to have a little bit softer, like that. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit more. Um, I think the background is totally fine. And the front over here, I'm going to have just have a little bit blue color. I'm going to have that a little bit over here. And seeing that. Okay, think about the balance of the whole. That's good. I'm going to have that a little bit softer. This is good. Over here, this is good too. And the front over here, I'm going to have use the flat brush. Now I'm going to clear up a little bit because it does still have a little bit too much. So I'm going to have that soften this. At the same time, I'm going to have the bottom of the leg. Also a little bit lighter as well. Okay, that's just good. And then I'm going to have this. Also a little bit lighter. So this is process, this technique. We can just avoid using the opaque paint. Just light it up a little bit. Okay, if you keep doing that for a few more minutes, and that will be fine. And for the tail, I'm going to do one more round. Okay, have this here a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. That's good. That's good. And a little bit warm color over here. Okay, a little bit blue color, a little bit cool color. So here you go. On the front over here too, I'm going to have this also a little bit darker. Here we go. That's good. And a little bit shadow over here. Okay, this is good. And this a little bit softer on this side 
Okay, that's good. And there you go. Now, now it look more like rounded. Now also gonna give a little bit shape right here. Now look at that. This is connect to the belly, and over here. This is good. Now over here. A little bit darker. That's good. Like that. And I think the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna give a little more dust to the row. I'm gonna make dig this a little bit darker on the leg. Okay, now we're going to have a little tool brush. Just take the color over here. So we're gonna come in over here at the bottom. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, that's nice. A little bit more dust. Okay, and then this painting is finished.